Right, well, let's move on now because the election didn't just expose major issues with the polling that we were showed. It also proved that celebrity endorsements just do not work. Now, rapper Cardi B was so upset that people don't care what she thinks about politics, she posted this message before having to delete it a few minutes later. This is why some of y'all states be getting hurricanes. That's all I'm going to say. Pretty disgusting stuff. Florida, Louisiana, Texas and North Carolina had all just been called for Trump just before she tweeted that. And of course, we still had Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen, Oprah, Lizzo, Eminem and many, many more endorse Harris. But people ignored them. And now even The Guardian was asking this question. George Clooney, who cares? Did celebrity endorsements actually harm Kamala Harris? To answer this question, they went to an arts professor at New York University who finally stumbled on the truth. What matters to a celebrity isn't the interests of an average person. Beyonce isn't worrying about the price of gas. Let's discuss with the panel. I mean, Tim, we've hinted about this. This is the theme of this election. This was an economic victory the way that I look at it. And I look at it that there are a lot of people in America who are doing it incredibly tough and you had an administration or a woman who was a part of that administration anyway, mm. the, the 2IC really, telling them that they fixed the economy, that everything was great and they should be thanked. Um, it's actually a good lesson for the Albanese government, which I think is dipping its toes in the same sorts of water. But if you run on that campaign rather than have a policy-based election, it doesn't mm. matter what celebrities say. People want solutions. This is absolutely true. And... You know, I, I was given every impression. I think we all got the impression that the Harris campaign staffers were, by and large, very young. I mean, there was uh, some photographs during the campaign of their staffers, of uh, the Democrat team staffers, and they do look, you know, you know, 25, 35, you know, youngish for political advisors. Yet this whole campaign was very kind of boomer-themed, you know, like <laughs> uh, roll out the celebs, you know, Bruce Springsteen, by the way, 75 years old. You know, he's 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 nursing class man at this point. It's uh, it's getting kind of crazy with uh, with the elderly uh, elderly celebs, and uh, you know, as even the Guardian is now discovering, people don't vote based on what celebrities say. They don't even sort of buy household products based on what celebrities say. There, you know, if Bruce Springsteen or uh, Madonna or uh, Cardi B, you know, in brackets, who is Cardi B? Close brackets. Uh, if these people recommended a washing machine, there probably wouldn't be a sales spike. People aren't into the celebrity thing in the same way anymore. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Darren, uh, I listen to various artists um, based on their music, uh, based on their actual talents. I don't care who they vote for. Uh, th that's not their training or their experience in life. Being famous or being a great singer doesn't really, for me, make them this kind of messiah. Um, I, I know that the Democrats have to get people to sign up for voting. I, I understand that it's different to it how it is here in Australia where we obviously have the mandatory voting and that galvanising that young vote can help, but it didn't work here. What's, what's your take on this? Yeah, I completely agree. It's very clear that, you know, we might like watching George Clooney in a movie or going to a Taylor Swift concert, but we don't want to be lectured by them. Um, but, you know, very wealthy individuals, um, you know, the ordinary families and, and workers and American voters um, are struggling at the moment. The, the cost of living is incredibly high um, and, um, it, you know, inflation up, up around 20 percent um, in recent years. And that's absolutely astonishing. And we'll probably see, I don't think it will probably go up another 20 percent, but it might now stop going up at the rate it's been going up under Trump. And, and that's ultimately what people were are voting for. Um, I think more broadly as well, if you go back four years, rewind to when Biden won the presidency, he promised that there would be a smooth transition to the next generation of, of leaders in the party. That never actually happened. And he was mm. hanging on and hanging on. Finally, he was moved out of the way. Um, you had that Clooney op-ed in the New York Times, which everybody felt was really clever and now looks like a, a really silly um, Thing to be to be proud about um, and that just kind of thrust Harris to a top of the party without a proper process and left a very ill-equipped Ill and ill-prepared for the campaign over the last four and a half months or so and um, and that's ultimately cost them as well because they were coming up against a candidate in Trump who clearly has a very firm grip 
on the electorate and, and their concerns and, and what's on their minds. Yeah, it's a very good lesson for all of us in the media, I think, not to go so hard on these celebrity endorsements and really focus on the policies.